Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about next application of the wired circuit law that is to so calculate the magnetic field intensity and magnetic flux density at the center of the square law. Center of the square law. So now here in this application, the current carrying the conductor is arranged in the form of the square law. The current carrying the conductor is arranged in the form of the square law. So that is shown in figure A to B. B to C, C to D, D to A. So the current carrying the conductor is arranged in the form of this square loop, and the carrying the current, carrying the conductor, current carrying the conductor is determined is arranged in clockwise direction. Calculate the magnetic field intensity and the magnetic flux density at the center of the square loop. At the center of the square loop, the Square loop current carrying conductor is arranged in Z is equal to 0 plane that is XY plane and I is the direct current in clockwise direction. And each side of the conductor, each side of the conductor length is capital R meters A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A is equal to capital R. The length of the finite conductor that is a finite conductor and each side of the conductor length is capital R meter. So calculate the magnetic field intensity at the center of the square loop. So this matter is explanation of the figure that is already explained from the figure this matter. So first to calculate any one side of the conductor magnetic field intensity. There are four sides of the square loop. So that is A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. So that are the finite conductors. So first to calculate the magnetic field intensity any one side of the square loop conductors. Now here first I am calculating consider the conductor A to B. The conductor AD. AD is a that is a one one side of the square loop. So first calculate the magnetic field intensity at the point P due to the path AD. So that path AD is placed along the x-axis. The path AD is along the x-axis. And M is the midpoint of the AD. Capital M is the midpoint of the AD. So calculate the magnetic field intensity at the point P. So draw the line from point P to the conductor now there is a perpendicular line, rather perpendicular line from point P to the conductor AD that is the midpoint, M is the midpoint of AD. So which is shown in this figure. And this, this is the point, point at this, this point, point P, calculate the magnetic field intensity, the rather perpendicular line from point P to the midpoint of the path AD. So that M is the midpoint of AD. So what is this distance? This distance is this distance is capital R. So AM distance is R by 2, DM distance is R by 2 and uh, A to B distance is capital A, capital R and this point P is that is the center of the conductor from here to here the distance is R by 2. And this distance is R by 2, this distance is R by 2 and this distance is R by 2. So calculate the magnetic field intensity at the center of the square loop at a distance R by 2 meters from the conductor. So we know that. The equation of the magnetic field intensity at a distance at a distance r from the finite finite current carrying the conductor expression already calculated. So that is h bar is equal h bar is equal i by 4 pi r into cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 2. So this is the equation of the magnetic field intensity at a distance r from the finite side conductor at a distance r from the finite Strike current carrying the conductor. That is, I is h bar is equal h bar is equal. So this is only the magnitude equation. So h bar uh, h bar mean in terms of the magnitude. So now consider the only the magnitude terms. H is equal I by 4 pi r into cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 2.
So the magnetic field intensity H1 at point P due to the current filament AD is given by so from the above equation, I by 4 pi R cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha 2, what is the meaning of that equation? That is the equation of the magnetic field intensity at a distance capital R from the current carrying the conductor. Capital R is the distance from, distance from point P to the conductor. So now here, calculate the magnetic field intensity H1 at a point P due to the current filament AD. So, what is the current filament AD length R, R and what is the distance from point P to the current filament AD R by 2. So, the magnetic field intensity at point P is H1 is equal to I by 4 pi into R by 2 and angle alpha 1 and alpha 2. So, from the figure, this angle is alpha 1 and this angle is alpha 2 that is 45 degrees and 45 degrees alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 is equal to 45 degrees and this total angle is 90 degrees and this is the center point and this is this angle 45 degrees So cos 45 degrees plus cos 45 degrees to cos 45 degrees, the value of cos 45 degrees is 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. So that is equal, reducing this equation we get h1 is equal, h1 is equal i by root 2 pi r. Similarly calculates, now here this is the magnetic field intensity h1 at point P at a distance r by 2, r by 2 due to the finite conductor finite current filament conductor AD. Similarly calculate the magnetic field intensity at point P due to the finite filaments AB, BC and CD. So the direction of magnetic field intensity can be determined on the basis of the right hand screw rule. So now we are done. The current carrying the conductor is arranged in the form of the clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. The square root is placed in xy plane. That is z is equal to zero plane. And the magnetic field intensity going into the plane into the square loop. That is a n bar is equal to minus a z bar. A n bar is equal to minus a z bar. So therefore. So individual calculate the remaining magnetic field intensity H2 is the magnetic field intensity at point P at a distance R by 2 due to the filament filament AB and similarly calculate due to the filament BC and filament CD. So therefore the total magnetic field intensity the total magnetic field intensity at point P due to the square loop is H is equal to h1 plus h2 plus h3 plus h4 so that is equal to 4 into h now we have the square loop conductor what is that uh, uh, all the path distance all the path distance are same that is ab is equal to r bc is equal to r cd is equal to r and da is equal to r all the sides of the square loops are same so because of that the magnetic field intensity of each side is same so that is 4 times of magnetic field intensity H1 along Z axis inverse. So, therefore, the vector the magnetic field intensity H is equal to 4 times of H1. So, that is H1 value is already calculated. What is the value? I by square root of 2 into pi r. So, therefore, H bar is equal to H is equal to 2 root 2 I by pi r in terms of unit vectors. The magnetic field intensity h bar is equal to 2 root 2 i by pi r into minus a z bar. Now here, why, why we are taking minus a z bar? The current carrying the conductor is arranged in clockwise direction. So because of that, a n bar is equal to minus a z bar. Suppose if the current carrying the conductor is arranged in the form of the anti-clockwise direction, the unit vector a n bar is equal to plus a z bar. 
In this application, the current carrying the conductor we are considering in clockwise direction because of that, a n bar is equal to minus a z bar. 